A few thousands of years ago, the lands of Egypt were ruled by pharaohs who yielded so much power that many believed themselves to be immortal and claimed to be gods on earth. As time passed, the rulership was handed down generation after generation, with each pharaoh growing more oppressive than one before. This was to reach its pinnacle under the rule of one particular pharaoh who had managed to enslave the children of Israel and force them to live a life full of subjugation and oppression. One night, while sleeping soundly in his palace, the pharaoh had a dream in which he saw a massive fire coming out from the Holy Land and spreading all the way down through Egypt, destroying everything in its path. Everything except for the houses of the enslaved children of Israel. When the pharaoh awoke, he knew that what he had saw was more than just a dream, but instead was a vision of what was to come in the future. And so, the pharaoh called his wise men and dignitaries and asked if anyone could interpret the dream he saw. The men then told the pharaoh that according to his vision, his empire was destined to be destroyed and that this would be done at the hands of a male child born from the children of Israel. When the pharaoh heard this, he wasted no time and immediately called for his men to kill every newborn child from the enslaved Israelites. Horror then quickly ensued with the pharaoh's soldiers marching through the towns and villages murdering every male newborn they could find. The news spread like a wildfire though out the countryside, but there was nothing the Israelites could do. For they had been living under the pharaoh's subjugation for so long that no one dared stand up against him. Even when the children of Israel knew that for the next few years, all of their newborn males were expected to be handed over to the pharaoh's soldiers to be immediately executed. But despite the many attempts by the pharaoh to change his destiny and to secure his fate, God Almighty's plan had already been put in place. For little did he know at the time, but the very person that would end up bringing down his empire and ending up pharaoh's oppressive rule once and for all, would soon be brought to his doorstep and would be raised under the very roof of the pharaoh himself resides under. Musa السلام, grew up in the house of the pharaoh until he was a strong young man. Upon reaching adulthood, Allah bestowed him with his wisdom and knowledge. During his youth, he began to notice that there is no relation to the pharaoh or any of the Coptics and that he was truly an Israelite. The Coptic subjugation upon the Israelites made him more compassionate towards the Israelites. One night while traveling with his family, Losing their path, he noticed a light upon the Mount of Tour and proceeded in search of information or at least get some fire. Little did he know, prophethood was awaiting him. Moses was then ordered to go to the Pharaoh and warn him about his action to set free the Israelites. The Almighty Allah bestowed him with miracles to prove to the Pharaoh and his people that he is indeed a prophet of God. Therefore, Moses alayhi salam and his younger brother Harun السلام, confronted the pharaoh and invited him towards the true religion. Upon this, a dialogue took place between Moses and the pharaoh. Musa went on to warn the pharaoh of all the calamities that would occur if he did not follow the guidance of Allah. But the pharaoh refused to listen because he truly thought that he himself was a god. The pharaoh still did not accept and continued to reject Allah and his prophet Moses السلام. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had granted Moses alayhi salam many signs. These signs were means to break the tyranny of the Pharaoh so he may accept the one Allah and set free the Israelites. Each sign was greater than the previous sign. Allah brought down a drought that stopped crops from growing and made cattle die of thirst. The Pharaoh promised to let the Israelites go if the drought would stop. Allah stopped the drought but the Pharaoh broke his promise. Then another sign came the sign of lice which spread amongst the Egyptians, carrying diseases. Their refuge to Moses and their promise to him was repeated. His prayer to Allah was repeated and so, to their breach of promise as usual. And the frogs, such that they infested their houses and food supplies. Then Allah sent swarms of locusts which ate whatever crops they had grown. The people hurried to Moses, asking him to invoke Allah to remove his affliction and promising that they would send the children of Israel with him this time. The Lactus departed, but they did not fulfill their promise. The water in Egypt turned to blood. 
although Allah showed them signs in abundance, they turned away and were arrogant. Thus it was decreed that Allah would make them a sign for those to come later. Finally, the time came when Allah revealed to Musa السلام, to take the Israelites and escape from the land of Egypt. When the Pharaoh found out the Israelites had escaped, he had ordered all his forces to go and catch them and bring them back. When Musa reached the Red Sea, Allah commanded him to strike the water with his rod. Upon hearing this, Musa heard and obeyed his Lord. The Red Sea miraculously parted and left a straight and narrow path down, which Musa guided his people. When seeing the Israelites passing the sea, the Pharaoh and his men also went into the separated sea to pursue them for oppression and tyranny. All of a sudden, the mountains of water on each side of the narrow path came crashing down. The Egyptians cried out but their sorrows of regret and screams of remorse were drowned by the crushing sound of water. The weight of their sins only made them plunge and drown quicker and deeper. In his last moments, as the angel of death began to fulfill the command of Allah, the Pharaoh made an attempt to say the Shahada. However, it was too late and he was doomed for eternity. Although Pharaoh and his people had perished, Allah fulfilled his promise and promised to preserve his body for those to come later. A lesson for those who listen, a lesson for those who learn. This is the unavoidable end of every tyrant. So this is the story of the ancient soul listener. The man who claimed to be the Lord of worlds is dead, while Allah never dies. Take heed and be sure that the same fate awaits those who wish to follow in his footsteps.